Everyone, today we're talking about how God fights against us. Also, it's super hot, so that's why I'm in a tank top. So, from Psalm 7, it says, God is a righteous judge, a God who displays his wrath every day. If he does not relent, he will sharpen his sword, he will bend and string his bow. He has prepared his deadly weapons. He makes ready his flaming arrows. It's one of those passages that makes us say, wow, Old Testament God is kind of scary, right? I mean, we've heard those phrases a lot, which imply that God was different before Jesus, before he became a Christian. And verses like this, just taken you know, by themselves, kind of point, seem to point in that direction. Even though we know God doesn't literally have a sword or a bow and arrow, this description of wrath, it just it doesn't sound like the God who is love that we see Jesus describe and, and so many of the gospel writers talk about. So, how does the psalmist actually explain what this wrath looks like in action? Well, we continue on in Psalm 7. Whoever is pregnant with evil conceives trouble and gives birth to disillusionment. Whoever digs a hole and scoops it out falls into the pit they have made. The trouble they cause recoils on them. Their violence comes down on their own heads. Simply put, the wrath of God is when our own evil boomerangs on us. God doesn't have to attack us. God simply lets us reap what we sow. Right? Romans 1 also talks about the same process. So you want to worship the gods and the political power of the Babylonian Empire? Well, okay, then you can go to Babylon in the exile. You want to engage in meaningless casual sex? Go ahead. Now you're going to see that your relationships are kind of meaningless themselves. This is always the principle of God's justice. A great metaphor for this is the martial art of Aikido. I may not be saying that right, but in this discipline, instead of you know, fighting actively against your opponent, this, you rely on using your opponent's aggression against them, right? You use their own momentum. They're coming at you, and you just kind of use that uh, against them. The goal is not to, to hit harder. It's to disarm them so they can't fight back. That's how you win. And I think that's what God is doing. And so the real question is, how are you fighting God? And can't you see that you're really only hurting yourself? If we can stop fighting it, what we'll find is that all that remains is God's love.